Well, um, this is a Netgear uh, router that I got from a dumpster and uh, trying to uh, first find the UART pinout. So I found pin uh, number two from the left, it's ground. So I got my scope, uh, channel one connected to it, and I'm gonna boot up and see if this is the transmit uh, channel, which I believe it is. So let me just got my scope <coughs> there on channel one, and there is some uh, pulse trains. Uh, most definitely sounds like the boot process posting um, to a terminal. So I'm going to uh, assume that's uh, TX. I'm going to get my URT to TTL uh, USB adapter and going to go uh, potty and uh, see if I can interface to it. And hopefully I could probably use uh, FTP to flash the DDWRT or OpenWRT firmware into it because um, I like it better. So right now I'm flashing the DDRWT um, to the router. So I'm connected to the URT. It turns out I need to name, uh, allow uh, it be set to 8 bits of data because you need to press Ctrl C to enter into the CFE uh, mode on the terminal. <clears throat> and then at the same time have the FT, TFTPD32 utility to flash the firmware. So flashing here is the command flash to no header. Um, first you need to erase. So I'm following the wiki on ddwrt.com to fly some firmware. So this is the first time I see uh, FTPD flashing a filing and getting that. So let's see how it comes out. Because um, this router uh, was password protected and, and at 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, uh, never worked um, to set it to factory default settings. So have the generic password, but no, this is a, a newer router. So you have to do it this way, flash it uh, using the serial commands on CFE. Okay, so now it's a uh, red block transfer zero seconds, block transmitted. There you are. It seems it transfer the whole file and that's the hash. Okay, so now the terminal says programming. So it's very crucial that you do not power off or anything on the router. Now I'm flashing. Um, so it seems like I got into the CFE mode, clear everything. So I'm flashing now the bin file um, into it. So that completed. I guess now I'm going to do the NVRAM. And VRAM or something, or I'm not sure if I break it or not, but it seems to be getting seems to be uh, set to uh, CFE CFE mode only now, so I need to figure it out. So. Uh, downloaded the official firmware from Netgear for this router and I just flashed it into it. Um, see that's the uh, MD5 hash transfer 39 uh, I mean uh, 58,897 blocks and that's it and now it's booting up into the router so let me disconnect from the wireless here so I can connect to this router over, yeah, so 
Let me see if I can see a page here. Okay, so I have to pause it because someone just walked into the room being noisy and stuff. So, uh, with the new firmware from uh, Linksys, um, the router is putting up and uh, uh, waiting to see if I can get something out of this router on the web browser here um waiting on it maybe it's not done the programming yet still some activity here uh posting libraries because you know this is an arm base um i think it's broadcom um so it's loading everything from um the flash so you can see the normal linux putting process it seems that it's pinging, so maybe now if I refresh, I don't know if the web server is already active. Oh, it is. Oh, okay. So it seems that it's the web browser is active now. So, oh, there. We got something. Go to Nighthawk app. Forget it. You don't have a compatible smartphone, click here. Okay, so I just flashed the new firmware. So it's factory reset. No password, nothing. Um, okay, so the last step will be to flash the the actual open WRT or DDWRT firmware into it. So I want to pause the video now. Okay, so back into it. Um, again, I have, let me just minimize this here. So it's still, uh, you know, the normal activity coming from the URD terminal on PuTTY. Um, trying to, uh, I think it was curl, trying to run a C, C copy URL um, from uh, updates next year. So it's trying to get something from uh, this website, which is interesting. C execute CR circle information so your router is always trying to do shit behind you <laughs> you know that's um what it's trying to do so and i'm just going to copy that into notepad just to see what it does there it is so this is what it's trying to do with it which is the url um from this uh website uh firmware updates netgear.com parental control circle oh okay so that's interesting it's trying to do that and then emergency thought on him so that's interesting to watch so here on the netgear i'm just gonna type in a password all right so i entered a new password into it and got um Activate your free your trial. Never know. Never rhyme me again. Skip this shit. Of course. Now the router is spying you. You can see here it's trying to do the URL, C uh, URL um, on your back. So look at all that. It's just buying this, buying that. So of course I'm gonna flash uh, DDWRT or open uh, WRT into it. I don't like the, the official firmware at all. So I'm going to pause the video and do that. Hopefully I can do it through the web uh, interface. Um, yeah, the Netgear software is like doing a lot of stuff on your, behind you and your back. It's like pinging uh, right here. It's pinging um, Google uh, DNS. Here, so that's the 888 pinging it's doing, trying to see if it's online or not. 
and also trying to download firmware on your behalf so yeah okay i have both uh the open wrt and the ddwrt firmware so i'm going to try and flash one of them so this is what i'm telling you i mean it's always uh, offering you deals like get this parental controls on your router so enough of this i mean when you're buying a product you, you're gonna be served with ads so you're buying a product and now you have an ad server so what the hell that year i'm here in the advanced router update i'm gonna grab my file which is uh open wrt uh let's see which one was it date modified uh, generic da, da, da. this is the one here i also have the netgear web flash binary um let's try the wrt see how that goes upload Okay, so you need that. Check factory to DDWRT. Okay, let's try that. Upload. Yeah. So, firmware version, yes. It's gonna do its. Uh, uploading it you can see it's sending signal to all those i don't know processes database okay so i'm look, watching both the front end and the back end of the router killing a lot of processes on linux enter to continue okay so writing byte so it's writing at the same time rebooting the router so it's done writing and it's rebooting the router right and i had to flip this to get the serial number because the damn netgear uh, web base wanted the serial number for password recovery i get it it's safe and stuff but for us hackers people that like to not be tied to uh the overly saturated with uh ads products like the hp printers that they demand you order online inkjet cartridges that's insane so this router is putting up apparently i can see on the urt uh serial terminal that is uh launching linux that's a good sign let's see if it shows uh ddwrt so far let me see uh invalid arguments uh, i don't see any like logo and stuff but it looks like the uh open ddwrt so let me see if i can ping to 192 over there and still nothing on it okay unsupported and stuff so it's not brick it's just doing stuff on the back diamond and waiting still putting up not fully done with the with a process i believe well here it is the ddwrt prompt so now i have flashed it i was actually going to give this as a you know to um, donate it to the local thrift store um kind of like goodwill because i didn't like it's it's a router that was password protected so the whole process was to flash um the uh, official Nutgear 
firmware into the R7000 router. So it will be factory reset. So I can type in the password. Uh, and then once I had the password in, download the, I uh, already had downloaded the DDWRT uh, firmware for this router. Now, um, I believe, I'd like to use this on a safe, change the password. 